Hey y'all, it's Jen for the Love of Virus. Thank you for joining me for another YouTube tutorial. Today's project is this one, and I saw it on Pinterest. It's actually all over Pinterest, so I'm not exactly sure who the original designer was, but it's a way to make uh, the brick wall embossing folder appear like bamboo for the background. So I am going to show you how to do this. Um, and this little panda I made with the Foxy Friends punch. These are some botanical blooms thinlets and this is the jar of everyday jars. No, what's it called? It's the everyday jar of framelets, but what's the jar of love? Yeah, jar of love stamp set. Uh, life feels empty without you. Uh, I have a daughter who lives in Texas and so this will be her bi-weekly card um, because I feel empty without her. <laughs> and I just thought that would be really sweet with the um, the sentiment it fit nicely in that little area there so let's get started the first thing you're going to need is a piece of crumb cake cardstock mine is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half you will need your big shot and you will need your brick wall embossing folder okay so take your cardstock and run it in so that the bricks are vertical okay up and down all right everybody got that up and down on the on the brick wall oops let's get it on the right tab jen <laughs> tab one tab one for embossing okay now let's stick the embossing i've got the uh, tab one clear plate well, mine's not clear. It's got a bunch of dervis on it from cardstock that I've cut, but <laughs> you get the point. Tab one, clear plate, embossing folder with paper, and then another clear plate. Okay? And we're going to roll that through. We only need to roll it through once because I don't, I'm not really concerned about the depth of the impression, and it should go through just fine. All right, so let me move the big shot out of the way. Okay, now we've got our brick wall embossing folder that has the lines vertically. So what we want to do now is we want to take some crushed curry ink, some early espresso ink, and some pear pizzazz ink. All right, so when we do this, I'm, I'll actually move these out of the way, but crushed curry Early Espresso and Pear Pizzazz are the three colors that you want to use. And I remember the uh, one of the blogs said you, you really want to use Early Espresso because if you try to use chocolate chip, it's so red-based that it just turns pink. And it doesn't stay red when you add, um, I mean, it doesn't stay brown when you add the water to it. So what we want to do first is we want to take a sponge and our Early Espresso ink, and we want to... Um, Put ink in all of the little creases here, okay? So you can use a sponge dauber, you can use a sponge, you can use um, Q-tip, you could use whatever makes you happy in your world. I am using just our sponges and I've got it squished up. So just a little bit. You don't want too much because then it'll be too dark. But just make sure you get it in there and you're going um, horizontally with the ink here in the early espresso, okay, in the creases. Did I get it all? Uh, I didn't get this side, but that's okay. Okay. Then you want to take your crushed curry and you want to make a splotch of ink that is just above all of the brown. So just kind of slide it a little bit above the brown. Okay, not too heavy of a hand, but not too light either. You're just creating a little bit of the yellow at the top here okay 
I love techniques like this that um, help you do things that you wouldn't typically think about with certain things. Um, turning a brick wall into something that you could use for other things makes it versatile for me and then it helps me justify my purchase. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, so that's it for the crushed curry. Now we're going to take pear pizzazz and we're going to go underneath of the brown and swipe downward. Okay. So it looks really bad right now, doesn't it? <laughs> well, heck, most of the stuff I make looks really bad, so <laughs> it's no big deal to me. <laughs> but you want to take the green and you're just swiping down with it. Again, you could use whatever applicator tool you desire as far as getting the ink on there. I find that if I just scoosh up my sponges, it gives me the perfect width and um, it, it just fits in there nicely. All right, so now is the fun part. Oops, I missed that one, didn't I? Okay, oh, missed that one too. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to take our aqua painter and make sure that it's good and wet. Okay, good and wet. And turn your paper so that you are going to, what you're going to do is you're going to draw water lines with the grain of the what's going to be the bamboo okay don't go against the grain even in in these little things I know it's going to be hard because you're going to want to go in these things don't do that go this way with it and just apply water and what you're doing is you are smearing that ink in there and it is turning your cardstock into the look of bamboo it's magical. I can't know how it does it. It just does it. It doesn't matter how messy you get. Uh, just make sure that you stay in this direction. When you run out of water, squeeze your water brush a little bit. It'll give you some more water. And just keep going until you get the whole background smeared all together looking nice and bamboo-ish. And now that, remind, remember, this is um, just plain old cardstock. This is just crumb cake cardstock. It is not water car watercolor cardstock or shimmer white cardstock. So um, just take, keep that in mind when you're adding your water so you don't oversaturate it and get the cardstock to pill. We don't, we don't want pilly cardstock. Okay. So I'm just coming back in and getting the little creases where I think that maybe not enough water was in there. And isn't that magical? Now we have a bamboo background. Isn't that fun? I love it. Okay. So um, you would need to let that dry. I'm going to be impatient and stick it down so that I can show you the finished card. Here's my card base. It is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Okay. And I will take some, I think I'm going to take some fuse just because the cardstock is a little wet and it's a little textured. Boy, this grid paper is helpful for me today, isn't it? Look at my desk would be a mess. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, so actually let me remove this now because I don't want to get my car face and everything in it. Oops. Let me tear it right. Okay, so let's take this and I am just adhering this flat to my card. Wonderful. And then you can just embellish it however you like. Like I said, I had the little uh, panda bear that I made from the uh, Foxy Friends Punch or the Fox Builder Punch. Um, I've got some flowers that I had cut from the Botanical Blooms cardstock and I 
I'm just adhering the centers in here because I didn't do that before. And I love Melon Mambo. This is a Melon Mambo, Bermuda Bay, and Whisper White. And I just love these three colors together. And, oh, why didn't you stick there? Combo. Sucker. Okay. Um... Or something like this, I don't know. And then I got some leaves that I cut out of old olive just to kind of fill in the gaps. Maybe one up there. Maybe one over here. You can sit on like so. And how about one? right here. It's going to connect to both of these. Yeah, I like it. So anyway, I hope you enjoy. Uh, this is the original card and that is my creation from today. And I hope you try it out. Oops, let me move this over so you can see them both. Hope you try it out and create yourself a bamboo background. See you next time. Bye.